Hi friends, it's your girl Larissa, aka Lat the R E double S A. Welcome back or welcome to the channel. If you are new here, this is a place on the internet where I help fellow real estate brothers and sisters keep it real estate so you can become that real estate agent. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create bulk client testimonial reels using the Canva bulk create feature. Now this is a wonderful tool if you are creating specifically individual pieces of content that more or less have the same format and concept. So instead of designing each piece individually, you can create a prompt and then tell Canva to make boom, 10 pieces of content. So let's head into my computer here because it is super underrated and super awesome. So here we are at canva and quite simply you can make your design from scratch but we're not doing that today because i'm going to show you some really cool things that you can do to make a template your own so we're just going to go again we are on the home page here and i'm just going to search for client testimonial and make sure you're toggled onto templates here just hit enter now, specifically, what we are looking for is a format that is like this here. This is a 1080 by 1920, something that is going to be in a vertical format. So go ahead and choose anything that you like. Let's see. I think I like this one. And so just be wary because some of them do are like Canva Pro, Canva Free. This one is a free one here because if there is a pro crown, that means it's for pro users. But don't worry if you have yet to try out Canva Pro for yet. I have a Canva Pro 30 day free trial. So get, get what you can get. So I'm going to click on this template here and I'm just going to customize this template. Hi hey friend, sorry for the interruption, but if you didn't know, I have an Etsy shop where I sell digital real estate Canva templates for my fellow real estate brothers and sisters out there. And if you sign up for my email newsletter, you can get a special Etsy discount code for your next order. So scan this code here or find a link in the description box down below and let's get back to the video. And so what we're doing here is basically prepping our design. So when we go in to create the prompt, Canva knows what to do. So in this case, I am just going to just remove this, put my face in here like that. Sometimes it might be such a small frame that we can barely get it in. There we go. Once you do that, change out your name, very similar to my name, almost. Then go ahead and just, I always just put my actual Instagram handle, which is, there's, uh, wow, I can't spell today. There we go. And then typically with this, I just like to put client name and I like to extend this just in case the names are longer and they won't fit onto just the one line there. And then with this, you can go in and change it out to match your, bra your brand fonts. Sorry. Uh, we can do, no, let's do this. You can change the font, see all. That's putting in a text box, but we don't want that. We want to go in here and then go into your brand kits are down here. And then I'm just going to put this as probably open sans. Change all. And then for this, I'll probably put this here. So there you go. Once you're happy with that, you can keep this the same. Now, the only thing that I want you to be wary of when you do choose a design is that you want to make sure that this is also going to be in the same kind of format for, if you're going to post this to Instagram, you want to make sure that all of the content is going to be in the middle because when people see it on your feed, it's going to be in a 1080 by 1080. So what I kind of like to do is create a guide for myself. So I'm just going to go, let's see here. T, no, not T, R. R for rectangle or square. And what I'm going to do is go into positions up here and I'm going to go into just arrangements and I'm going to make this 1080, sorry, 1080 by 1080. And then I'm just going to center it. Then I'm going to turn on my rulers and guides by going shift R on my keyboard. They were already on. I'm going to pull from the top here and pull and drag from the top there. So now that we 
have the guide so we can remove the square there so again what i'm doing is creating this so it fits in right in the middle now you can see here that it's a little bit cut off because here's our guide and here's where the end of that shape is so what i like to do in this case is just click and drag with my mouse and just move everything up a little bit so it fits better just like that you might want to adjust things here and this is also a frame so it's a very very big frame because you can see it goes up to here so i'm just gonna make this quite smaller just like that so it fits nicely and i'm actually going to delete the picture out of here and i'm going to move all this stuff up slightly i might make my picture a little bit bigger because it's just too small like that and once you're happy with the placement of your design you're pretty much set to go um, this might be a little bit small in terms of text so we might just make it a little bit bigger but now that we have this done we can also very importantly oh, i forgot to mention this part because this is going to be a real a video we actually have to change this doc type so what we need to do actually is go into up here resize and magic switch now this is a pro feature but highly highly recommend that you invest in camera pro because with camera pro you become a professional and i show you how so in this case we just have a static graphic on canva so the doc type we need to change this into is a mobile video so i'm going to go down here to videos here and i'm going to just go mobile video this is going to be again 1080 by 1920 so i'm going to click on that hit continue and then I just let it give it a second. And then I'm just going to redesign this design. So I don't want to make a copy. I just want to reformat this design. And now you can see here, we have a timeline on the bottom. So in this case, what I like to do is I'm going to extend this upwards of 15 seconds here. Or we can change it up here as well. So you can just put in 15 seconds and then typically what i like to do is add in a little bit of animations just to make things interesting because it is a video so in this case i'm going to click on this text box here i'm going to go up to animate and then i am going to go typewriter this is just one of my favorites that i like so i kind of like it to be a little bit slower and typically what i like is character it still seems to be going pretty fast so let's just see here and depending on how many words are in this text box it's gonna look still pretty fast but anyways that looks pretty sufficient and one thing i also like to animate down here if you do have the animations if you have stars or something you want to animate i like to click on this here and I am going to go into animate up here. And then I like to scroll down and I like to use this flicker. You can see that. You can see that ever so slightly. I'm going to zoom in for you so you can see the flicker. Just so it looks like it's pulsating. So it's like it's flashing at you. You can also change the speed as to how fast it's going. But I just like it kind of like that. And so if we play this from the beginning, you're going to see that this is what the design looks like and so that way the typewriter makes that person have to wait and read everything until it's done so you can also add in some sound effects as well if we go into the audio here if you can't find audio it's usually going to be in your app section here and somewhere in here it says more from canva you'll find the audio library now the audio library is both music and sound effects so i just like to look up keyboard typing sound and there are a few to work with. Now, this one is a free one because there's no Canva crown. You can give it a play. And typically what I like to do is just drag this to the bottom here. Boop. And then just click and drag and then just give it a play. And that's typically what it's going to look like. Now you do want to time it accordingly. So where the text 
stops is where you want the sound to stop but we're not going to worry about that too much because this isn't actually our testimonial so right now we have prepped the design now the next step to do is actually create a spreadsheet so what we're going to be doing is creating a spreadsheet so we can download a csv file and import that into canva and then canva can help us create our other designs so in this case what i recommend you to do is just go to google sheets and I've already made mine up. This is just fictional clients and some testimonials that I, ha that I had ChatGPT help me make up so I can help show you guys what I want to show you in this tutorial. But essentially what you wanna do is just create a simple spreadsheet. One column has the client's name and the next column has a testimonial. Now I've just grayed out these columns so I can see and so that Canva can see what each column A and B is going to represent. Now again, we just need to go to, once you have this all made up, just go into file. We need to go to download and download as a comma separated values. So CSV, download that directly to your desktop. And then we can go into back into here. And then we are gonna go into the app section here. And typically you're gonna find bulk create here, but if you can't find it, just search it up here. But if we click on this, it's gonna open up this window. Now we are going to upload a CSV file here, click on that, and then just go into your downloads and grab that sheet here. And then now what we're gonna be doing is actually connecting the data points. So I am just going to probably just keep that as it is and then what we're going to do is hold on hold on so you want to select the text box try not to put your cursor where the text is so select on the text box you want to hit those three dots there and then we're going to go to connected data points now we are connecting this text box to the testimonial and then for the client name click on the text box those three dots and then connect the data points and then we're going to connect this to the client name and so once those two points are connected, you can just go ahead and hit continue. And then it's gonna show you all of the data that we have put into here. And you just wanna just go ahead and just generate the 10 pages. Now what it's going to do is actually generate another design. So we had this design as just one and then it's gonna go and create another design here because now if we go over to this grid view, we have 10 pieces of content because we had 10 testimonials. Now you can go in here and see and give it a play. Now again, it's only copied, it hasn't copied over the sound effect to every item. It's only done that, Just to, it's just created the pages essentially. So if you do wanna add in sound, you're gonna to have to add that in individually. But if we give this a play here, we can see here that this is the client's name and this is the testimonial they gave me. Now you do want to just go in and you might have to adjust the size of the text if it's not how you like it. So in this case, you could make this text a little bit bigger. So if it's better like that, you can also make this a little bit bigger and just move it, move it up like this. Oh, oh, wow, wow, what's going on? And just center it just like that. And then go ahead and do the same thing with these ones. This one looks pretty good, just like that. Now, you can keep this as it is, but I find that having the same color is kind of boring. So if you have your brand kits made up, you can go into your brand kit here. And if we, I have a few brand kits. Now, if we select this page, we are on page one, I can go into this color palette and I can just shuffle through the colors by doing that. And you can see here that it has, is changing the colors. So I would go in and just change every page. So it's, it looks, it's the same design, but the color scheme is just slightly different so that we have some variety. And so that people think that we have put a lot of effort into our testimonials, okay? So just go ahead and do that. Again, you can copy over the sound here. So I would click on the sound. I think if we can command or control C, then put our playhead here, command or control V. Again, you wanna just make sure you time this properly. So wherever the, the, the last word was, you wanna make sure the sound kinda ends there. So yeah, that's pretty good too. And then if you 
playhead here. So it's just going to require just a little bit of finessing, if you will. Now here we can put in just photos. Usually um, if you have pictures with your clients, if they will allow you to use their pictures, you can. But in this case, I'm just going to go into the photos here and I'm just going to look up interior, a modern house interior, something like that. And then just go ahead and just click and drag this one click and drag for that one. And then let's see here, maybe this one. Now do keep in mind when you post this to Instagram, you're only going to see on your feed, it's going to be what's going to be in the middle. But if they click to the whole video, it's going to open up the full page here. So that's what it's going to look like. And now that's pretty much one and done. Just give it a playback. And you can see here that we have the flashing stars, which is also really nice. Now, in this case, I would just go ahead and just download this directly to my computer. And so uh, for me, because I'm on a Mac device, I can download to my computer and then airdrop to my phone. Or you can open up this exact design on your phone on your mobile device using Canva, and then you can download each video individually. But the nice thing about the desktop is if you go to share up here, go to downloads, you can actually hit here, download pages as separate files. So you can export in one setting, but each video is gonna be by itself essentially. Now in this case, what I would do is again, download this directly to my desktop, airdrop to my phone. And then if I post this to Instagram, I would just use the trending music in that library or use the trending music on TikTok. And then you're pretty much set to go. So if you wanna learn more about Canva video editing in this style of format, then definitely check out this video here. It's gonna be a video about how to create instant video reels using the Canva AI tool. I highly recommend you check it out. So if you're ready, Get ready to click in three, two, one.